Sydney. Hi, I'm Sydney Clark, and today I'm going to talk about germs. There are many kinds of germs, some good, some bad, but the most common in the U.S. are viruses and bacteria. A virus is a snippet of DNA that invades a cell and uses that cell to replicate. A bacterium is an organism that attacks the body and within hours has made millions of copies. Even though they're different, they both spread in similar ways. I've used glow germ to simulate the spread of flu after someone sneezes into their hand. My hand thrusts under black light. My arm doesn't. Let's go find an unsuspecting victim. So nice to meet you all. Hello. He touched the door handle. Okay, that's gross. He touched the faucet too. That's disgusting. Germs spread mostly through air and touch. New viruses are worrisome because natural immunity and vaccines don't exist. Pandemics like H1N1, the most recent, occur when a disease affects much of the population over a large area. Because of our global community, H1N1 got a free ride around the world and was killing people from Mexico to China within weeks. If you don't want to catch a bug, here's some tips. Don't touch the faucet with your clean hands because people also turn it on with their dirty hands. <coughs> Don't sneeze into your hands. <laughs> and stay away from sick people. Good old soap and water is all you need. Never use antibacterial soap and don't take antibiotics for viruses because they kill all but the strongest germs, which then turn into antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Antibiotics only work for bacterial infections, not viruses. Vaccines are what keep you from getting viruses, like measles and polio. Above all else, protect yourself, your friends, and your family. Stay healthy out there!